Hey, today I'm going to show you how to make some heart earrings. Um, I have some in my video that I just posted. Um, that I recently posted. Um, it's this earring. And it has a glossy, shiny shine to it. And it has a ear hook. I'm using one hand today, so it's going to be a little difficult for me. Um, I use this right here. This is made out of wood, and it's very, very thin. And all I did was paint one side black and one side white. And you're going to need some paint brushes, of course, and I'm using this one. And you need two paint brushes, one for the gloss and one for your paint. And you need some water, of course. This one's a little dirty because I just used it for the uh, to clean my brushes off. And the paint that I use is acrylic paint, um, folk art, multi surface. I prefer to get multi surface because you can use it on anything. I'm using it on glass, wood, paper, um, <clears throat> excuse me, whatever you want to use, you know, whatever you want to paint on. And I chose um, to use a cardboard to put my paint on so I won't mess up anything. And the gloss that I use is triple thick, brilliant brush on gloss glaze, and it's this right here. You can get it from any craft store. You can get it from Amazon or, you know, any craft store that's on the website. Um, now, as you can see, I just simply painted that side black, this side white. And I'm going to make some little lines like that with the paint. And so I'm going to just go ahead and clean off my um, paint brush. And you want to let your paint dry before you put anything else on top of the paint. Because if you don't let it dry right then and there, <clears throat> you know, of course, you're going to have paint colors all smeared and everything. And I'm going to use, uh, what color what I'm going to use? I'm going to use the pink, the pink, um... The lavender, purple, I don't know why I keep saying pink, lavender color, and I'm going to use white. Okay, so, and this purple has, um, it dried up a little bit, and that's one thing that you have to watch out for, because if you leave your paint just sitting there, it'll dry up quick. And just put a little bit on this. Oh, snap. <laughs> just put a little bit on the surface. And, um, I'm using a very fine point, um, paintbrush. And I'm going to take this. I'll sh I just show you instead of talking. Just a little bit. You can use different shapes, different sizes, and you know, whatever kind of um, wood you would like to use. You know, and just draw whatever you want on on your earrings. Just real simple. And of course, you can get the paint and stuff from Michael's, Joann's, Hobby Lobby, whatever website you know that sells arts and crafts. I just like doing this because it's peaceful, it's relax, relaxing, and it do relieve stress. And I enjoy stuff like this. I like all kind of arts and crafts and stuff and making things from scratch and you know anything that got something to do with you know 
talent and challenging you and stuff. And I don't want to overdo that side. So that's how I'm going to do that side. Okay. I'm just cleaning off my brush. And um, ear hooks, you can get them from um, Michael Joanne's or, you know, your um, local craft store. You can get it from Walmart. Now, the paint and the gloss, I don't know if Walmart sells um, the um, acrylic paint and the, um, the gloss. But, um just purchase it offline or go to your craft store and just put some white paint right there now close your paint back up <clears throat> because if you don't then your paint is just gonna dry you don't want that hard crusty paint on the top of your paint lid and all that so just I'm gonna take some white paint let me just draw like little dots in between this. Now, of course, as you can see, I just made, I just did this as it came to my mind. You know, possibilities are endless. You can do whatever you want. And of course, this don't look like the earring that I just showed you because I'm putting dots in it. But this is basically it. It's so simple and easy. And you know, you might not get it the first time. And of course, the other earring, when you do the other earring, it's not going to look exactly the same way as the first earring. And that's okay, because that's all it is, the hand painting. When you hand paint, you know, it's not going to look the exact same way. And, yeah. That's all it is. Okay, now I want to take... I'm gonna do black. Take some black and go on the other side and do the same thing on this side. And just make like little lines and stuff. Now you can draw hearts, you can draw shapes, um, you can draw stripes, whatever you want. It's so easy. Now, before you put the gloss on, I prefer you to let the paint dry and and then put your um your ear wire hook on and then put the gloss on because if you put the gloss on by being so thick you're gonna smear it with your fingers and you don't want that because then your earring is not gonna look right show you how to do all that once I get finished 
and just clean your brush off after every time you uh, dip it in a different color paint. Because if not, you're going to have all that paint mixed up together. You don't want your colors mixed up. <laughs> and then it be all smeared and stuff like that. I'm going to take this purple and just put purple dots all over it. Just like that. Yeah. And you can, this is like really fun. Because you can do whatever you would like to do. Yeah, you can paint it however you want to. And this would be fun to do with kids and stuff like that. Um, should I put another one somewhere now? Nah. Okay, so I'm just cleaning my brush off. And I forgot to tell you one thing. In order to put a hole, um, you can put it right there in the middle or you can put it on the end like this one. Like this one. See? So I'm going to let this dry and then I'm going to show you how to put the glaze on there and no I'm going to put the ear hook on first and then I'm going to show you um, how you do the glaze just all you do is just brush the glaze on it after the paint dry alright so I'll be right back Okay, I'm back. So, um, as you can see, I finished the other earring, which is this one. And I put the um, ear hook on there. And I put the gloss on this one. And I'm going to put the gloss on this one next. On this one right here. So, um, uh, to get the hole in there, I just took my um, bead my bead reamer, reamer and it got a pointy end on it so all I did was by the by the wood being so thin all I did was just take it and just twisted it down in the wood on the edge now you could put it right here in the middle if you want to but it's gonna be hard a little hard to get the um the jump right through the Lord the little dent right there so um i just went over here to put the hole in there then add the jump ring add the um ear wire hook and now i did the same thing i painted this side painted it you know flip flop the colors around and then um i put the jump ring on this the ear hook on that one so now i'm just go ahead and take my um my brush and dip it in a in a gloss like this see it's thick just go ahead and just paint it on it just paint right over top of this and now when you put this on you wanna um let this dry for hours maybe like two hours for the completely dry maybe two to three hours before you you know start wearing it or before you give it away or sell it or whatever and these also would be a nice Christmas gift for somebody you know and um 
As you can see, I'm having difficulties um, putting on this gloss. But um, you get the point, and after that, you're done. So, I'll just go ahead and... Try to hold this down. And don't leave your um don't leave your gloss open for long periods of the time. Because you don't want that to uh you know dry up and stuff like that. This is so, like, it's kind of hard doing this with one hand. But I got to do this because I don't have no, like, no camera where I can, you know, stand up and all that. So, I'm doing this with my phone. So, got to go with the flow. Got to do what you got to do. And it's okay if you paint over the ear wire because it's clear and it's going to dry clear. And just make sure you don't get nothing on the um, ear hook part. The part that go in your ear. Then it'll be all thick. Yep, so... This is just all over the place. But um, this is basically all it is to it. And like I said, you can do shapes, you can do stripes, you can do um, little circles and you know, whatever comes to your mind, this is how you can do it. Okay, and then make sure you wash this out. Make sure you let your brush sit in the hot water. So all that gooey stuff can get out of there. That glaze can get out of your brush. Because you want a nice clean brush when you go use it again. And as far as the um the back, the back of the earrings, you can paint it black. And you can also put glaze on the back of it too. But let the front dry first and then do the back. And put the glaze on it so you can lay it flat down on the other side. Because if you lay it down while it's wet, it's gonna um it's gonna smear and then your earrings not gonna look right because of the paint then smeared all smeared all over the place. And that's about it for today. So it's not exactly like this. All I did was just put the little white and black dots all over this. So, but you get the point though. You can do whatever you want to do. Um, so that's it for today. And make sure you keep your um your paints and your um gloss um covered up so they won't dry out. And as you can see, the paint dried really quick. Right after uh, five minutes, five to ten minutes, it dried up just that fast. But you can also add just a tad drop of water to your paint and um, to loosen it up a little bit. Okay, so that's it for today. So if you like this tutorial, um, go ahead and like, subscribe if you're not a subscriber, and um, comment rate share and thank you again bye